Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop to create this double exposure effect. So without any further ado, let's just dive straight in and get started with this tutorial. So first things first, I dropped in the image that I'm going to be using. Then we're going to come onto the uh, selection tool and we're just going to paint over around the edge of the image like this. And we're just going to be cutting out this uh, woman from the image. Shift Control I or Shift Command I to invert the selection then click this select and mask button at the top. Using this tool here we're going to just brush away the hair and what this is going to do is um, really make it more realistic the corners and the edges of the hair just kind of because obviously the hair isn't a perfect straight edge it's a little bit frilly and spiky so that's going to do that then I'm going to come on to contrast boost the contrast which is just going to make it sharper uh, and then smoothen it out a little bit just to make it a little bit more curved then click OK Control J or Command J is going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to delete one underneath and that's how we have that selection there. Now I appreciate this is a very quick tutorial but um, it's really not that much, uh, that very complicated uh, and just rewatch if you do get stuck on anything. So Shift Control U or Shift Command U is going to turn it black and white. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to drop in our background layer which is going to be this one here and I'll show you in just a second what it actually looks like. We're going to place that on top. So this is what it looks like. This is the layer I've chosen. Um, and basically, you want to choose something with some like cool colors and not too many hard edges and sort of blends out slightly as well. So I'm going to do Optional Alt and click that to the layer below. So that's going to create a clipping mask. You can then also move this along if you want um, to position it in however you want it. Next thing to do is click on this mask button here. Make sure black is your foreground color and your hardness is on 0%. We're just going to paint out like this. And then we're going to paint just so we have some details of the skin, so the eyes and the lips, and a bit of the cheek as well. Okay, next thing to do is optional alt on this bottom layer. We're just going to duplicate it to the top. Then come onto your blending modes and then just put it on lighten. Now from here, you can see we kind of have um, the sky bleeding through in the dark areas, but then we've also got the skin showing here. Now, we don't want to show all the skin, so we're going to put the opacity on about 35%. And what that's going to do is actually allow some contours to be shown instead of just this solid block of color. Okay, now what we're going to do is another mask, and from here we're going to just paint in, uh, make sure you're on this mask layer and black is your foreground color, and you're just going to darken up this area at the bottom like this. You can also like paint out the uh, the ears and the collarbones a little bit more if you want to, but I kind of like seeing a little bit more. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, that's the double exposure effect pretty much done. We're just going to add in a couple more details now. So I've added a new layer. I'm just going to do uh, Shift Delete, which is going to fill this layer with white. So that's going to be our background color. Um, you can also do um, a new color like this, which is what I like to do is click on color and then use your color picker tool and pick a sort of pink uh, or a blue whatever a color from your image and then click OK and then you can also put the opacity down like this just to kind of have this faint color in the background as well so it blends in a little bit more so there we go that is it that is our double exposure effect done uh, I am going to put one more effect in just for you guys just to show you how you can kind of make this layer look more interesting um, so that is using these birds. So uh, you can download these birds as PNG on the internet. It's free to download. Just search bird PNG. You can find them. Now you can see here I've got it on blending mode color burn. You can try things like overlay looks quite cool. Um, but I'm going to just leave it as color burn for the time being. Then duplicate this background layer again. Clip it to the birds. And then you can put the opacity down a little bit on here. You can put the opacity of the birds down. You can just mess around with how much of those birds you can see. So that's kind of what I like to do. Um, kind of give it a go, play around, see what you guys can uh, make from this whole thing. So if I change the blending mode to overlay, you can see here it makes a slight difference. So yeah, that's basically what you do for a double exposure effect. I hope this video was useful. I know it was quick. Uh, I know I did rush through it pretty quickly. Um, but I didn't want to hang around and waste your guys' time. So if you want to understand it more, I recommend you watch this video again. Um, if not, you can grab our Lightroom presets, our Photoshop actions, everything, our Lightroom course. It's all on sale. The top link in the description. If you grab those, it just supports us, supports the channel, and allows us to continue doing these videos. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we'd love to see in the videos a bit more. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Live long and prosper.